say hi from Charge Math. Today we're going to deal with the fourth question of circle theorem. Find the angle of A, of B, and of C. This is our angle A, this is our angle B, and this is our angle C. We are going to use this theorem located on my right hand side to solve the problem. Now, the first thing to do is to get what is the angle A here? The angle A here is the same as 32 degrees. This is the reason why. 32 degrees is subtended from this part, which is from the art of PQ. And at the same time, I can prove to you that this angle subtended from the arc PQ can be applied on the angle A as well, as I show it here. So our A is in fact 32 degrees. We are going to find what is the value of the angle B. Now, the value of the angle B is in fact the same as 80 degrees. And this is the reason why I'm going to make this angle that subtended from arc R S. And the angle subtended from the arc R S at 80 degrees can be applied to the B here as well. That shows B can be concluded to be 80 degrees. And now for the part C, the first step to deal with it, we need to find what is the value of this angle that I'm highlighting here. Now we are trying to use this theorem to solve our problem. The value of M here is in fact same as the angle B plus the angle C. This means for the M as the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. B and C are the two interior opposite angles, while M is in fact the exterior angle. We can assume that M here is the same as the value of A add up with the value of B, which is 32 and 80. This is 32 degrees plus 80 degrees. That would be 112 degrees for the value of the M. We can now find the value of the C by using the supplementary angle in a triangle, which is 180 degrees, take away the 112 degrees, and take away another 25 degrees. So the value of the C is 43 degrees, and we solve all of it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.